Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. In today's video, we're going to be talking about both corrugated and dual wall drainage fittings, how to use them, different types, how to make connections, and we're also going to be going over some exotic stuff. Let's go ahead and get started. To start this video off, I want to talk about the difference between corrugated fittings and dual wall fittings. Now, these dual wall fittings technically are called N12 soil tight fittings. They come with EPDM gaskets usually when you buy them and these make a leak-free joint, and they also help keep out roots. Now, with your corrugated fittings, these don't come with EPDM gaskets. Instead, you make a leak-free joint with these with pipe wrap tape, also known as PVC tile tape. This is what keeps the water in and keeps the roots out. Both of these fittings are interchangeable. And what I mean by that is you can use dual wall with corrugated fittings and you can use single wall with N12 soil tight fittings. It doesn't matter. You can use them either which way. Now, I have a piece of dual wall pipe right here. So when I talk about dual wall or double wall pipe, N12 pipe, that's the brand name of it. So it's got a corrugated exterior, as you can see, and then the interior is smooth walled like you would get with a PVC pipe. So this is dual wall or double wall pipe. And then single wall pipe is just corrugated exterior, corrugated interior, hence single wall. So let me go ahead and let me just show you if we were to insert this dual wall spigot end into the hub end of here, into the N12 fitting, these little bumps, these little dimples, that's what helps hold this hub onto this pipe now granted we don't have one of these epdm gaskets on here if we did the, the the fit would be even more snug than it already is it moves around a little bit but that's the other thing that i want to talk about so let's go ahead and let's put this put this single wall into this corrugated fitting now with both of these pipe types what i like about them is when you have ground movement, you have settling, shifting in the ground, whatever the case may be, when these are connected either with tile tape for the single wall and the EPDM gasket for the dual wall, these can move in the ground. So the joint can actually move and it can expand and contract and it can move with ground sh the shifts, which is good because then you don't have anything cracking, you don't have anything breaking because it can move with the ground. So both of these are able to do that because once this is tile taped up with PVC pipe wrap, it can also move like that. So in our videos, if you come across when we're installing dual wall in the future, we're gonna have, be having a lot of those videos coming up. You will also notice that when we install dual wall, not only do we use the EPDM gasket on it, but we also use pipe wrap on here just to add an extra layer of protection against tree roots and shrub roots. There's also some other things that we do, but we're not gonna get into that in this video to keep roots away. That's a whole nother video on its own. So let me go ahead and let me pull this single wall off of this corrugated fitting and show you it fits into the dual wall N12 fitting as well, but it's a lot more loose as you can see. So you, if you are going to be using these fittings with a single wall, you're going to want to tile tape this up heavily so that you don't get any leaks and it can shift with the ground without coming apart. Let me go ahead and just take this dual wall off of here. You can see that is a much tighter fit. And let's slide the dual wall onto the corrugated fitting to demonstrate how that fits in there as well. And there you have it. So you can use these fittings either way they work. But you're going to want to make sure that you seal these joints up with pipe wrap tape or the EPDM gasket and pipe wrap tape because the joints in any drainage system are always going to be the weakest part. The next thing we're going to talk about is 5 inch corrugated pipe. Now, 5 inch is an interesting size. There is applications that this comes in handy for, but we don't see it a whole lot in the industry. 
We keep some of it around just in case we ever need it for certain applications, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it in this video. So this is a five inch single walled heavy duty corrugated pipe. This is a sample version of it that I have laying around. This stuff is ridiculously thick. It's ridiculously strong. You mainly see this on commercial development sites where they're driving around heavy equipment. The stuff gets banged around a lot. They're using this as a dewatering pipe to dewater certain areas while they're working. That's ultimately what you see this pipe used for. But we are starting to use this in residential applications because this heavy duty pipe is good to run past tree roots because of the thickness on this. Now, this is a five inch Y, so it's five by five by five. These are the fittings that are going to be used for this. As you can see, slots in there in place, and then you, of course you would tile tape this up and then use whatever methods you would need to if you were running it past shrubs or tree roots, anything like that, to help keep those roots out. Now, there are different corrugated Ys when it comes to five inch, six inch, four inch, you name it, there's different ones. So here's another five inch Y. So this is five by five by four. The reason why we don't typically use these types of Ys that have this four inch reducer built into the Y is because of the way the, this reducer works. So if I take a piece of single wall four inch and I slide it into this reducer, there's two problems with this. One, when you slide this in here, you have a gap between this five inch hub and this four inch pipe. And there's, a, there's just a lot of play and it just, it doesn't connect very well into there. Not only that, but then to seal this fitting up, when you use your tile tape on here, there's not a whole lot for that tile tape to grab onto. And you'd have to start going up on this five inch hub and then it just it leaves this big shelf here with tile tape it, it's just it's not a good connection now the reason i keep this fitting around is because this four inch reducer can easily just be cut off right here and we can just turn this y into a five by five by five and we can use it like that so a better way to make the connection so if you were running a five inch main so let's say that this is your five inch main running through here and you want to grab a downspout line, a lateral and connect it into your down, into your five inch main. And that downspout is going to be on four inch. A better way to make that connection is to just use a five by four reducer. You would just simply cut a small piece of five inch that would fit in between here. I believe the corrugation count is six to seven corrugations to get the length that you would need to get that a snug fit. You would then insert it here, tile tape that joint up, and then your four inch lateral would slide into the reducer and connect in. And as you can see, it's a much tighter fit and a much better connection when you use the proper reducer fitting to go into your Y connection and enter your main. You have a lot more you can tile tape here to make that connection. You don't have that shelf like you had on the other one like I was demonstrating. It's a lot better connection. The other reason why using these is also better is because let's say we're working down in our trench and we have this Y fitting at the level it needs to be. But when we're bringing our lateral line into here, if we need to rotate this, to bring this lateral line up a little bit higher so we can get the pitch that we want coming in like this, we can do that. Let's say we need this lateral line to be a little bit lower. We can rotate this and that lowers this lateral line into the trench if we need to get a different pitch coming in on it. And let's say we need it the same depth as this main. We can rotate it all the way and as you see, then it's going to be the same exact exact depth as this main line that's running through here. So that's the other reason we like to use these reducers is because you can rotate them. Now I have a, another couple of videos that show this, uh, but we're running six inch in those videos. So we're running four to six on those. So this is a little bit more of an exotic fitting. 
So what we have here is a multiple reducer fitting. So you have six inch, five inch, and four inch. Now this can be used in different configurations, obviously, but you would have to cut off what you don't need. So let's say for example, we're running a six inch main. So we have a six inch main running through here, and then we want to bring in a lateral line. So this adapter fitting right now, as, as it stands in its configuration is six to six. So if we need to run a five inch lateral into this six inch main, we would simply cut off this four inch adapter piece right here, and then we would have our five inch. So then we could easily slot this five inch right into here and transfer it into our six inch main. Now we could also leave it as is if we needed to transfer a four inch into our six inch main, we wouldn't cut anything off. We would just leave it and then you could just slide the four inch right in there and transfer it to your six inch main. Now we also could cut this six inch off and we could just turn it into a five to four inch if we had to. So we always like to keep a couple of these with us just in case because you never know if you are going to need something like this and it's good to have options when you're working out in the field. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is the larger dual wall fittings. So these both are N12 dual wall fittings. We have a 45 and then we have a 90 degree elbow. So these dual wall fittings, they also have the EPDM gaskets. As you can see, they are different, a little bit different than the four inch gaskets. They are thinner because it's a bigger pipe, it's harder to work with. So here's a piece of six inch dual wall. Now with dual wall pipe, you can slightly bend this pipe if you need to in your trench but you cannot get say a 45 degree bend and you probably can't really even get a 22 and a half degree bend. I mean, I guess you could if you really force the pipe to bend, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because you are going to then start to mess up the smooth interior of that pipe. So if you need, if you are working with a dual wall system, the larger stuff six inch and up, and you need to get a more custom bend. The only way that you're going to be able to do that is you're going to have to custom make the fitting yourself. You're going to have to cut this pipe, heat weld it together, and you're going to have to make that 22 and a half degree bend. That way you can get a nice joint on your system instead of bending this pipe. But in larger runs, you can slightly start to bend this pipe if you need to just not that much. Now the four inch stuff obviously will bend easier than the six inch stuff. The higher you go up in dual wall, the less bend you're gonna get on that pipe. So you're going to need to use more fittings, more joints for that dual wall pipe. Like I said, this dual wall, six inch is the same thing. They all come with EPDM gaskets that you are going to use on the larger fittings. We have videos coming up showing us installing dual wall pipes, so stay tuned for those videos. Dual wall is a very, very awesome pipe to work with. We love working with this stuff. We love installing systems with this stuff. This is HDPE, high density polyethylene plastic. This plastic holds up very well in the outdoors, in the environment. It's corrosion resistant. It expands and contracts with freezes and thaws for use, for those of you that are up north where it does freeze. Here in Florida, obviously we don't have to worry about that, but we still love using this pipe just because of how durable this plastic is. It does move with the ground and we also like that. So that is six inch dual wall for you. If you're an avid viewer of our videos, you've probably seen when and how we use these larger six inch N12 fittings. So basically what we like to do with these is catch the larger downspouts. So you have two by three downspouts, three by four downspouts, and then the larger ones are four by five downspouts. Here in Florida, we get a lot of rain real fast all at once. The gutter guys are starting to install 
these four by five downspouts a lot more so they can get the water out of the gutter troughs faster because that's how much water builds up that quickly. So whenever we come into contact with these four by five downspouts, we put them directly into a six inch line, six inch lateral directly into the six inch main. We don't want to take any chances when it comes to those larger downspouts because we have seen how much water comes out of those on heavy storms. So that's how we usually will utilize these 90 degree elbows is we will put them upright like this and then we will put a piece of either dual wall or single wall as our riser and then it will go into our lateral and then ultimately into our six inch main. Let me go ahead and throw a 45 on there. That way we come correct. And that's ultimately how we are going to make this connection into our six inch main whenever we run into those larger downspouts. The last thing I want to go over in this video is with these fittings, I want you to notice something. So the hubs of these fittings, the plastic is a little bit thinner. See how I can bend that down with my finger. Now the body of that fitting is a lot thicker. So the hubs are thinner and that's on purpose. That's so that the pipe can slide into it. Now you have to think, once this pipe slides into this hub, now this is a piece of dual wall I'm using. Now I'm not gonna push it all the way in because I have to pull it apart, but I'm just trying to show you guys something. So just because this plastic on the hubs is thin, it makes no difference. Once that pipe slides into that hub, look how thick that plastic now becomes. It becomes nice, thick, and solid because you have the spigot end of that pipe sliding into that hub. Then, of course, you're going to make your tile tape connection and what have you. So the thinness of the plastic on these hubs makes no difference once that pipe is inserted into, the, into it. All right, guys, so that just about does it for this short video on corrugated and dual wall fittings. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to get to them and answer them. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, give us a thumbs up. It really supports us. It supports the channel. It helps us out with what we're doing here. And if you need drainage in the Tampa Bay area, whether it's residential or commercial, give Stormwater Drainage Solutions a call at 813-614-3456 or visit us at our website at stormwaterdrainagesolutions.com. We got you covered. And until next time, this is SWDS signing off.